Right. We have a, it's a great space upstairs, and we've done amazing work. There has not been enough artistic volume, especially for mm -hmm. the audacious mm -hmm. work we tend to put up there. Mm -hmm. um, and so here we'll have that so artistic that, that space. Um, then we'll go into um, Q Brothers Christmas Carol, mm -hmm. which we're going to take out all the main floor, and um, mm -hmm. it will be all be cabaret. Uh -huh. So the room will be like no other theater in Chicago because we'll have this amazing ground floor of cabaret seating around that show, and then there will still be traditional theater uh, seating in the balconies, and then we'll do our short Shakespeare Midsummer, where we'll put the thrust in, and so then you know where we are right now, ground zero in thrust, as as Gary was saying, is up eight feet overhead. Um, and, and then, you know, we'd also been, you know, we'd been presenting work and doing site-specific work and um, traveling our work abroad. So we had, as Chicago Shakespeare, we've had a uniquely global experience theatrically. Mm -hmm. right. And I think that that really informed the idea of, of, of taking seriously Black Watch at the Armory right. and right. what right. that experience was. And, and when we brought Nehi, um, you know, Tristan is sold, right? Mm -hmm. That had, I had seen it in, in, in um, London in a Brasini space, and I knew it was so much better than that space mm -hmm. was letting it be. Okay. But, and, and Emma was so glad when she finally got Tristan to our space because it let her put it back into the lap of the audience, right? So we know, okay. we uniquely understand that and have from the beginning with our thrust stage. And so we wanted to make sure that artistically we had a space that was responsive, but then importantly, we wanted to reuse Skyline Stage, right. um, both right. because of its adjacency, certainly, um, right. and, and the economic upside.